From UFOs to psychic powers and government conspiracies, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. As of 2016, approximately 40% of the world has an internet connection. As more than 3 billion people across the globe visit websites, social media platforms, forums, and more, their moves are tracked by numerous advertisers, intelligence agencies, website owners, and other groups. Perhaps you've recently searched for a product or service, only to later find ads for similar things on every web page you visit. Perhaps you've already done your best to rid your computer of cookies, the text files that allow these organizations to track you. Perhaps you're using an incognito browser and ad blocker extensions. Do these methods work? Here's where it gets crazy. Not as well as you might think. Targeted online advertising is a huge industry, leveraging big data to point ads toward individual internet users with more and more precision. This is not inherently bad, but it is not particularly well understood in the public sphere, and that's the way some entities would like to keep it. The data you're giving each entity you visit or app you download can be sold to anyone without your consent. After all, how many people read the Terms of Service Agreements? Within these labyrinthine documents, users agree to do things like give up rights to their photographs, allow their activities to be tracked, and sold to other companies or given to law enforcement. And one of the primary goals of this massive data harvesting is to manipulate you into buying more things. To many, this doesn't sound particularly nefarious. Sure, the argument goes, you might see an advertisement, but no one's forcing you to spend any money. Yet there's a deeper wrinkle to this story. A study co-authored by Professor Rebecca Rexick at Ohio State University's Fisher College of Business found that these targeted advertisements do more than show you the next gadget you might think of buying. These ads can actually change the way you perceive yourself. In one example, Professor Rexick analyzed ads for environmentally friendly or green products, finding that the power of a behaviorally targeted ad for a green product isn't just that it persuades you to buy the advertised product. It actually makes you feel more environmentally conscious and can change your behavior. This paves the way for a dangerous feedback loop. Companies take data about a user and target ads toward that person. The user sees the ads slowly having his or her self-perception altered. The user's web patterns change, which prompts even more focused ads, and the process continues. As explored in our earlier episodes on big data, companies and governments are notoriously secretive about exactly what information they're gathering and what they're doing with it. Should this practice continue without the knowledge of users, even when there's evidence that targeted ads can affect their audience in unintended ways? For now, the practice continues unabated, and efforts to shed light on the process have proven only this. There's something these companies don't want you to know. Learn more about targeted online advertising in our latest audio podcast available at StuffTheyDon'tWantYouToKnow.com.